Alright, so I'm recording a video that might be considered a bit silly. I'm going to be showcasing two dual problems that I face in this game. Uh, one of them is that I am bad at Terraria. I am also physically disabled. I have been attempting to fight Skeletron. Now, I'm going about it in a way that is suboptimal. Like, I, I am aware of this fact. It is not the best way to do the boss fight. But it is a way that I know I should be capable of. I'm not going to I'm not going to blame the controller, the controller in this case being my body, but like I'm not entirely sure where the skill issue ends and the ability issue begins. And honestly, honestly, I'm not even entirely sure why I'm making this video. Uh okay. Almost time. Uh, some more info just before we start. First of all, I'm going to turn auto pause on now. In terms of buffs, I have a mining potion, which I'm not going to use, and I have coconut, and that's it. I have exhausted pretty much all other relevant potions, uh, most of them on this boss fight, this and Queen Bee. I have failed, I think, twice to kill Queen Bee, which was very humiliating. Okay. Okay, um, one of the challenges that I am going to be facing is not to get caught in his fucking spinning head attack. That is a challenge everyone faces. That is a skill issue. I am having skill issues. And like, I... I feel like it is important for me to... I just cannot overstate how much nothing I have to do, like, pretty much aside from this in this game. Like, as you can see, I already have the Terra Spark boots. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just, I'm making sure to be extra careful. <sighs> One thing that I, I didn't mention in my recent video about FND is that I, I have this rule that I follow whenever I get, like, blood drawn or, like, an injection. <sighs> Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit. I have this rule. I call it corpsing, um, because I, I didn't, I didn't fucking, I didn't fucking eat the coconut. Oh. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. What I usually instruct the medical professional to do is um, if they need to move my arm, if they need me to move into a position, pick me up and move me like I'm an object or a corpse. Because, like, if, if, if my muscles are... Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. If my muscles are engaged in any way, I, I, I will, like, I will seize up. I will shake. I will fuck something up. Like, I, I have this fear of needles breaking off in my arm, and it's not an unfounded fear. It has never happened before, thank god. Uh, um, but, like, I have a fear because, like, I feel like it's the kind of thing that my silly ass would induce accidentally. Okay, I need, I need my arm to be more flat on the desk. Like, it's, it's not flat on the desk, I have my wrist off the desk. And that is not good for my physical stability. Hmm. I've run out of languages to count in.
Is this just how, like, actually good players play this boss battle? Minus the pauses. to die. <sighs> okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. I think I need to change up my strategy. This is what I mean by how much nothing I have to do. Like, I haven't killed Skeletron yet, but I, I do have full Molten Armor, Molten Pickaxe, Volcano as my main weapon, so I've been using the Volcano this entire time. I'm going to start using the Rotted Fork, and I'm going to start using it to attack Skeletron when he is doing his spinning head attack, because it is actually something that I can move counter-directionally while using, and it actually has range that way, whereas it is pretty much impossible to counter-directionally use the volcano, unless there's some insane strat that I just don't know about, or unless I were to just constantly be turning around, but first of all, that would kill my speed, and second of all, you've seen how well I, I maneuver. Uh, that's just, it's just not happening. It's just not happening. Disgusting start. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my god, it's fucking health-based. How did I not realize it's health-based? I didn't... Oh, oh, oh. I didn't... Two... Three... Four... Five... Six... Seven... Eight... Nine... Ten... Ten... Please. Oh, 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 I didn't mean to go that high. The money I dropped isn't even worth going back for. Hey guys, um, so, uh, there was something that you didn't get because my big ass hand cam was covering the fucking screen. This tackle box? I had that equipped instead of my fucking feral claws. So I wasn't auto swinging. See, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. I, I am, I am disabled, but I'm also stupid. Aside from the obvious reasons why I would want to get into the dungeon, like, there's a bunch of stuff down there, I have some specific things. I am four items away from being able to make the shell phone. I need all three of the angler, like, informational accessories, and the tally counter. And the tally counter is a post-skeletron item I need to get into the dungeon in order to get the tally counter. So that is one of the things I am after. I need to kill a bunch of, like, the three enemies that drop it, and I need to get it. I need to procure it for myself. Now that I think about it, I'm not actually entirely sure how far down that giant block of brick goes. Okay, not far.
Oh! Oh, 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 God. Oh my God, what the fuck? I'm out of coconuts. <laughs> 